What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savitech once again, and we're finally getting back into some crypto content. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a Zeus master node. This is one of the easier ones to set up as they've provided a script that makes it super, super simple. We're going to be doing it with a Vulture VPS, and VPS stands for a virtual private server, to spin up your virtual VPS, Vulture virtual VPS, which is redundant, your Vulture VPS, make sure you use the affiliate link down in the description below. That way I get a kickback and basically it helps me run all of my mining pools essentially is what it pays for. So it's super helpful to me. Without further ado, let's get into how to set up your Zeus coin master node right now. Welcome back. So we pretty much are just going to be hopping over to the battle station and taking care of the rest of it over there. So come on over and join me. Okay, so to start things off, you're going to want to head to zeuscoin.com slash hashtag wallets or pound wallets, depending on which generation you were born in. So it just, it just depends. But once you're there, go ahead and click the Windows download to download it. I recommend installing it into a virtual machine. Today we're going to be using Hyper-V. We'll go over that in another video, but I basically have the wallet installed on a virtual machine. It's very easy to basically just open the package and install it and you'll be good to go. There we go. So I'm about two days behind and we're going to have to scan the blocks and get that all working. Doesn't necessarily mean we can't start doing the process here. So you're going to need to send a thousand, exactly 1000 to your Zeus wallet. So you're going to want to go to your receive tab and typically what I'll go ahead and put in here is like master uh, node. And if I'm going to plan on doing multiple master nodes, I'll do master node 01, 02, 03. And I'm just going to leave the amount blank and just click request payment. At this point, you'll be provided with a payment address and you can just copy that address and use it to send the 1000 Zeus to it. Now, if you sent more, don't fret because you can actually just from within your own wallet, send it to your own address exactly 1000. Now, the only caveat here is that you're going to have to keep in mind the transaction fee and just make sure the transaction fee isn't affecting the final amount that's headed to your wallet. So you'll see here the total amount sent did include the fee in there. So we're going to be good and the exact transaction will be 1000 Zeus and I can say yes. I basically sent to my own wallet from my own wallet and this is to generate the master node key. So the next step is to go to tool and then debug console and in the debug console we will want to type in master node. At this point, we'll have the master node key and we'll want to copy it for later. So I'm just going to basically do a control C to copy it. I'm going to open my notepad plus plus here and paste it into here. And then the next step that we will want to do is run the get account address and then enter the master node name in here, which is ours is just master node if you're following along with this particular guide. At this point, we're gonna copy this and save it in Notepad for later as well. And then our next step is going to be essentially typing in masternode output. Sorry, masternode outputs. And commands will be in the description below. Between the brackets will be your master node output, which you would then copy and paste into your notepad. Currently, we do not have this, so we are going to move on to building the virtual private server while this wallet syncs. Okay, so our next step is going to be creating a VPS. We're just going to come up to the top right and click the deploy new server once you guys have created and logged into your vulture. The next thing we're going to want to do is select the location. It really doesn't matter. Pick whichever is closer to you if you prefer to reduce latency, so on and so forth. We're going to want to select for the OS Ubuntu and 18.04 and then for the server size 
The $2.50 a month one is great for development but does not have reserved IPs. Reserved IPs cost $3 a month which would then make it basically more expensive than the $5 one here. So we're going to go with the $5 a month 25 gigabyte solid state drive with the one CPU and one gig of memory keeping in mind that we can add a swap file and even possibly add more master nodes to this single VPS. The next thing that we want to do is name it. So in this case, I'm going to name it sot zeus mn one for basically SOT, the coin name, MN for masternode, and one in case I intend on spinning up another Zeus masternode. And then we'll click deploy now. While it's deploying, I recommend you go ahead and create the firewall group by clicking the firewall tab in the top menu bar and clicking add firewall group. You can name this one the same as your basically masternode VM there. And so we're just going to do Zeus masternode 01 and click add firewall group. Now for this particular case, you're going to want to lock down SSH. So I highly recommend not adding anywhere, but selecting down and selecting my IP then clicking the add button. I'm not going to do it here because then you would see my home IP address and we just don't want to do that right now. However, once you do that, it should have another rule that says if any other IP drop and just make sure that drop rule is in there as well. Once you've done that, you can go back to your main page and then select your VPS which this is still installing here. You can click into it and then you can click settings and then firewall and then select the current firewall that you made. I have one made for master nodes that's already configured, at least for the SSH portion of this, and then click update firewall group. This is gonna ensure that nobody else can connect to your virtual private server and start messing around with stuff. Once that is done, you're gonna to want to download an application called Putty. You can Google for Putty, and then right on the main page, which will also be linked in the description below, you can download Putty. Once Putty is downloaded, you can just double click it to run it. And we are going to be wanting to connect to our session. So as you can see here, if we go to the overview, we have our IP address. So we're going to copy our IP address and paste it into here. And then I like to save it. So we're going to do SOT Zeus MN01. And then we're just going to click save to make things a little bit easier. I am going to load this and then adjust the appearance for you guys and increase the size of the text to, I don't know, something like 16. Probably that should be good. If you do that, you can come back and then just click save. It's just going to make the text text larger. There's lots of other stuff you can do as well. So now when I want to connect, I can just select so Zeus master node and then click open. Once you click open, you'll get a putty security alert, accept it, and then it will ask for your login. Your initial login is actually going to be already listed as root in your VPS server information. So we're just going to copy the root and paste it in. Right clicking into putty will paste it in. So if we right click here and say copy and then right click into here, root gets pasted in and press enter. For the password, click the copy password, right click into your this putty session and press enter again. And at this point you should be validated and entered in. At this point we're getting denied and I'm not sure if it's because I created and destroyed too many servers at once, but it does say it's running. We're going to click in and try this one more time. Okay, so it finally actually took it there and we are now logged into root at sot zeus mn one So we're correct there. And at this point, we're going to want to add our user. So you never want to be doing any of the installs without first creating a user other than root. And this is for security reasons as well as just general directory reasons. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just run a sudo add user, which we don't need sudo actually here because sudo would say give me sudo permissions or let me act as root. But add user. I'm going to add blind run, which is my gamer tag, and then it's going to create the user, enter a password for that user. You don't need to worry about any of the name, number, or work phone or anything like that. Our user is now added, so now we want to mod the user. So sudo mod 
So it's actually user mod, so I messed that up, but we'll do sudo user mod dash a g sudo and then blind run for the user we just added. And now blind run has sudo permissions. To verify this, we're just gonna go ahead and log out of our session. And then we are going to log in with blind run now. So, so load your session back up and open it. Use your created username and password. And then to confirm it, you can just do sudo su. If it prompts for password, type it in and it should then log you in as root. To exit root, type exit and enter and then you have now exited root. So at this point, we are ready to move on to the creation of the master node on the virtual private server. So I'm gonna go to full screen here so you guys can see everything hopefully as clearly as possible. And in our VPS terminal, we have a script that Zeus has kindly already created for us, which makes things really, really easy. And we are going to go out and get that script with wget. As you can see, it is now downloaded. We can use ll to see what's in the directory. And as you see here, we have an executable Zeus underscore setup dot sh. So at this point, we're going to want to mod that file and these will be in the description below please follow them in order and then we are going to want to run it now we will want to run it as root so do sudo right click and then basically the dot forward slash and then the zoo setup dot sh says execute this file and then we'll press enter and it'll say do you want to install all needed updates and firewall settings and we do not need to because we're going to be setting it on the vulture end. However, we could say yes here, open vulture wide open and let the UFW, the built-in Ubuntu firewall, take care of it. And then the VPS will actually do that all for you. Me, I'm not going to do this. That's up to you if you want to leave your, your firewall open from the vulture side and then just have the VM handle it. I'm not going to. I'm going to control that myself. So I'm going to say no. And now it's going to ask if this is the IP that we wish to set up for the master node. We're going to say yes and enter. Now, oddly enough, it's not finding it. So we're going to enter our own IP here. We're going to enter the IP again, which is the 149.28.117.153. And now we need to enter the master node private key, which we generated earlier from our wallet. So we're going to come up here. And as you guys can see, we generated that key. So we're gonna wanna copy this key. And then at this point, it says that it is ready to go and we just need to configure our wallet. So going back to our VPS, the standard port that this installs it on is gonna be 41799. So go back to your virtual private server and then go back to your firewall settings and then edit your firewall group. And then you'll want to select TCP and enter in the port that you get from there, which is going to be in the description, but it by automatically sets it to 41799. At this point, you can say anywhere or you can lock it down to the IP that you have your hot wallet on and click add firewall rule. Okay, so now we need to go back to our wallet and complete the configuration of the wallet. We're going to want to do master node outputs. And at this point, it's given us a hash and the outputs of zero. We're going to copy this and paste this into, of course, our notepad for later. Now, at this point, we want to open our master node configuration file. We can click tools and open the master node configuration file here. We're just going to choose notepad to make it super easy. As you can see, they have these commented out. That's what the pound or hashtag, depending on your generation means. Now we know that we want to basically copy this exact setup. So basically what we are looking for is going to be changing our master node IP to the IP of our VPS. So if we pull our VPS back up, 
we can see here, I believe I have it here, do, 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 that our IP is 149.28.117. I'm just going to try to copy that real quick and paste it right here. And then we also know that our port from earlier is 41799. And then the next thing is our master node gen key, which was the first one that we pull, put out. So we're gonna copy that and paste it right here. The second one is going to be our hash. So the master node output that we ran earlier. So we're gonna copy that and place that here. And this last one is the zero, which is going to be the output TIDX. So at this point we can press Control S to save and close this. Next we need to locate our Zeus.conf file. To do this you can just click Tools and then Wallet Configuration File. This will be in the description below and you are going to want to paste this in. Now for your RPC username and password, I recommend using just random.org and then clicking their password generator. Maybe doing like 14 characters and getting like five of them and then just copying these in and pasting them into your RPC username and then get one and grab it for your RPC, of course, password. These should be all on their separate lines here. And now we're just going to save it and restart our wallet. Once you've restarted your wallet, you wanna click on over to the Masternodes tab and click Start Alias. If you have it protected, it'll ask you to type in your password and type that in and then click Yes to Start. You should get a message that says Alias MN1 successfully started Masternode. At this point, you'll see Enabled, Active, and of course the last scene. And that is all there is to setting up your Zeus Masternode. At this point you can kind of just close out and you are done.